Hello everyone. Well, I don't really want to make this video today or ever, but so yeah. If you can tell by today's title, someone has stolen my song and put on a platform without my permission. Okay, I'm just going to tell you the whole story. So if you want, I don't know how long this video is going to be. If you want to get snacks, drinks and that, just go and get some because I don't know how long this video is going to be. So, let's rewind to Monday. Okay, Monday the 19th, Monday the 19th of July 2020. I go on my Spotify for artists. I go and check on it every single day, even when I'm bored. Or even when I'm way too busy, I still check it. Because I like to see which songs going, is going to go on top what places I want to go and talk and that. Checked it and then all of a sudden I get this. Yeah, so there's a so there's a song called Es Atamia which is mine. But yeah, um so if you didn't notice but when you go on to my Spotify and see that song, it's a completely different artwork. It's pure Christmas themed and I want to address this as well and none of my things would never, never be like that. Even if I didn't even put on Spotify, if, even if it was only on YouTube, I will just I keep it, I will literally just keep it as the original artwork. So this is what I want to show you. A screen recording of my proof of my it's that time you again uploaded to all platforms. My thing, I pay for this freaking plan and I get unlimited like uploads. I can upload however many songs I want. So, yeah. Now. Let's talk about this album cover and album song. Three songs. One photo from my Instagram. Yeah, one photo from my Instagram. How fucking sad. Stealing someone's photo who originally has it in their camera roll. In their Snapchat, the first, so I'll tell you is when I took the photo. Oh, uh, so I took this picture up on me. The, so I. Uh, I took that picture at 10 to 2 in the afternoon on the 3rd of me. That photo was uploaded that same day. I don't know, I can't remember what time. But you, I don't know who, I don't even know if you're watching. That, oh, I feel like I want to scream. You are literally going to ruin my life. Last night, I forgot about it. Looked at the time, I was like, oh, what day is it? The 23rd. I was like, that song is going to go out. I literally nearly started for crying because I am freaking scared. Because I said this all the time, the streaming royalties that I get, I mean like the streams that I get and that money off it, that goes towards my tour. You have stolen that song, you are getting all those royalties, yeah you're getting all that money. And then you might do it again. Why? Just why? Why would you steal someone's song, put it on their Spotify without their permission? And by the way guys, yeah, I'm uploading mine. This has been in the working since freaking last month. I've been trying to get it out but there's this issues with the artwork. And now it's finally being approved and I will literally put a screenshot of mine and it still says in progress at the minute. I haven't checked at the minute. And I'm hoping that it's been approved. So then you can get a pre-saved link. Did that, did that person have a pre-saved link? No. This is what I mean. You kind of do things like that behind my back. Because I know how freaking the music industry works. If there's a music getting uploaded, and if you want to um, pre-save it, like follow me on um, Spotify or follow me on Apple Music. You can do that for free, but Spotify, you can do it for free. Apple, I don't know. And 
I'm hoping this freaking album... Oh, by the way guys, I've been trying to take them down. And this is the only thing that they can say. Oh, but if you want to get in contact with your label or your distribution thing, we can take it down for you. I'm sorry, 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 what? Um, I don't know what you're on about, love. And you need to get your shit sorted out. If I want a song removed, I can do it by Spotify artists. I'm not going to go, oh, da, da, da. But if someone's uploaded it on a different freaking distribution that they've probably paid like 50 to 40 quid. Like, really? You stole someone's song and now you're doing this? Here's me last night literally bawling, like, I think that actually did bawl my eyes out. Because I'm scared. Because there's distribution things like DistroKid, CD Baby, Tune Chord, Ditto. You can get the song on the radio. Last night I had a full on freaking crying session because I'm scared because I've got a feeling that's going to go on the radio or something like that and this freaking album album don't know you have literally stolen three of my songs again again why would you steal someone's song without someone's permission you could have emailed me on my management, on my label. You literally, you could have messaged any of us. I would have said yes, but I would have said no at the same time. Because I'm getting all these streaming royalties, royalties and I'm putting that towards my tour. So you guys can get to see me face to face, live, not over screen. Not over that. Standing in a crowd of people who literally might adore me and see me perform all my songs that I've worked my arse off and just for this person to upload, to steal my song from YouTube, upload it to a freaking, don't know, distant distribution. It might be on iHeartRadio, it can be on Pandora, the music version. It might even be on Capital FM in the UK. Like, why would you do that to ruin someone's freaking life? Just, why, can you just tell me, and if you are watching this video, that like, you're probably laughing your ass off. But if I had the chance to sue your fucking ass for stealing my fucking song that I worked on for three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. My Christmas one. My first ever song took three weeks. Took three days to write. Then took the rest of the days to freaking record it. Because it was auto-tuned. And then... I'm having happy days from after my first song. Didn't get much as yet. Me second, my first ever debut single. My life has gone downhill. Thank Lord that hit the roof. I was so happy with that song. And now, with my second freaking debut single, it's summertime. I'm freaking shocked. Because with me on TikTok, I can boost my following on Spotify and Apple. That's getting my song pushed. And then with me third one, which is I Miss You Grant, that didn't do much. But at least the, there are people listening to it. And then just for you to upload a song that you stole from me and then uploading it and now getting 200 views in the space of 12 hours. Just, just why? Just why? 
you have just ruined someone's life. <clears throat> so, the next time that you might want to ruin my life, please email me or email my management. If you want to contact me by email, my emails are always down below. Just don't go off behind me back. Uh, look, there's a song for Leone that I didn't get a permission off. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to get all the money. <laughs> like, mate. I don't get that much money off my fucking relatives at the minute. I've been paid last month and this month. Do you know how much I've been paid? Four pound odd. So ha ha, bitch, get your ass to fucking jail. Another thing was editing. I had to wait two or three months for me to get my relatives. In the space of those two or three months, that song can have up to thousands of streams. That means it can literally have twice as money as I've got now. Uh huh. Don't know. So I'm just going to say they because I don't know the pronouns or the, even the person. So yeah. So you can get all that money so you can put more songs of mine that hasn't been released. And I'm freaking terrified in case I hacked into my iCloud or something because that's where all my um, freaking songs are, um, are. And I'm just freaking terrified. I don't know what to f do. So, if you are actually watching this, please email me soon as so we can have a little chat. And if you do email me, Please tell me your full name. Do not freaking lie. Because I work my ass off for everything since my first song has dropped. Which was on the 10th of December 2020. I've worked my ass off. I'm currently working on so much that I'm scared about now. So, but I'm not scared because I'm happy at the same time. So yeah, so if you are watching this, the person who has stolen my song and uploaded it without my permission. Okay, I forgot to say this, but whoever this person is, can you please tell me? Because I am really, really angry. And you're not going to get shouted at, by the way. Please email me soon as and tell me your full name. Because we're going to have a little, little chat. And if you don't email me, I will literally ask someone to get in the details of where my song was uploaded and who uploaded it and where it was uploaded. I don't care if I find your real name. But once I find out, I'm going to see if I can sue your fucking ass. I don't want that money. I just want you freaking done for, for copyright, for stealing photos, what else are you going to steal? Me freaking outfits. So fucking funny, innit? You're probably fucking laughing your fucking ass off, aren't ya? You're going, ha ha ha, that's what you get, that's what you get. What have happened to you, you So, if you want... To do that again, please email me. And yeah. And if you can't be a remix or do something, please contact me and I will allow it. But you just do not need to freaking do that. Not at all. You're uploading someone's work. That they've worked on for ages and you stole and, and you uploaded it without the permission. That's copyright, but I definitely know that it's copyright, alright. Oh, and by the way, I looked in the song credits on for it, and part of that my label is Leone Records. Yet, yeah, who the fuck is Leone Records?
my label is the only Quilly Studios. And if you ever use that, sorry, but you're getting your suit, you are sued. I'm sorry. You can't just sell someone's song. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have enjoyed me shouting at a fucking phone for 20 fucking minutes. Bye. Please email soon as.